Hello friends, welcome to Mad Science, and today we are going to uncover one of nature's most unexpected mysteries. What could be hiding inside a fig, and why you might want to think twice before eating one straight from the tree. Sounds mysterious? Oh trust me, you're in for something truly fascinating. I know my lab coat might seem a bit over the top, but if you're still watching, then it worked. Plus, today's topic is all about biology, and we're diving a bit deeper into it than usual. But first, I want to thank all of you for your patience. The channel has gone through quite a few changes and experiments with its theme, but there are exciting updates on the way. From now on, there won't be any scenes of animals being fed to other predators, but the animal and insect world will still be a big part of our content. Of course, in full compliance with YouTube's community guidelines. Now, let's get to the topic of the day. What happens to figs on the tree? And why this fruit may be hiding some unexpected guests? If you're used to the idea that store-bought fruits are clean and safe, you're right. Commercial figs are indeed different, because they are pollinated artificially, without the involvement of insects. This protects the fruit from unwanted visitors. But a fig that you pick from a wild tree might surprise you with some worms. These worms appear due to a unique relationship between figs and pollinating wasps, such as Blastophaga scenes. These tiny insects play a crucial role in the fig's reproduction process. The female wasp enters the fruit through a small opening to lay her eggs. Inside the fig, there are special structures called syconia, where the future larvae develop. Once the eggs mature and the larvae hatch, they start feeding on the fig's internal tissues. Male wasps, strangely enough, remain inside the fruit to fertilize the females and then die, never leaving the fig. The females, however, leave the fruit to continue this unusual life cycle, which has been going on for millions of years. Now, here's perhaps the most interesting part. In figs, where this process has occurred, remnants of the wasps such as their bodies or larvae, may remain. But don't rush to throw away the fruit. Figs have an amazing defense mechanism. They produce an enzyme called physin, which breaks down the remains of the insects. So most of the time, you won't even notice that wasps were ever there. Everything gets naturally digested, and there's no harm to your health. Now you're probably asking, what happens if you eat a fig with the remnants of these wasps or larvae? The simple answer is, nothing bad. It's just an extra bit of protein for your diet. So, if you accidentally come across such a fig, it's more of a rarity than a problem. In fact, most people have no idea that insects once lived and developed inside the fruit. I've prepared a special bonus for you, some footage taken through a microscope that gives you a closer look at this process. I'm sure you'll enjoy seeing how this incredible symbiotic relationship between plant and insect looks in the smallest details. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a like and share your stories in the comments. Have you ever found wasp remnants in a fig? I'd love to hear your experiences. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Mad Science.